You made a big announcement here at Fortune Tech, uh, all about net neutrality, obviously something you're really passionate about. And it seems like you're saying, Barry, that the, the big media folks are, are pushing the inventors, the entrepreneurs of the Internet into the dust and, and taking more than they deserve. Is that right? Well, what I'm saying is, is that what we need is rules of the road. We've enjoyed something in, 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 in this country that's a miracle, which is you press a button and on, a, on your computer or whatever, and you publish to the world. Mm -hmm. And there's no interference between what you're publishing, whether you're an individual who just wants to talk, or you're a media property, or you're a website, or whatever it is. You just push that thing, and it gets out to the world. And there's nobody that stops it. There's nobody in the middle of the road taking a toll. There's nobody in the middle of the road saying, well, if you want to get on, so to speak, and the analogy is a broadcast network, a cable station, mm -hmm. and any place in communications where you have to knock on the door and ask. And if you get it, you get it under their rules. In this world of the Internet, we don't have that. And what, what is wise for us to do is to codify that, to make that a rule, to say that's how it's going to be in the future. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason that it's important to do is because the opposition to doing it, which are the distributors, the, the, the people who deliver broadband service or who deliver who are cable companies and telco companies and et cetera, they're mightily opposing this. They do not want so such a, and they don't want such a simple rule, which is what all the FCC is trying to do is a simple rulemaking that ensures this miracle of a free internet. I have to believe that the reason that they oppose it is because they, in fact, want to do what distributors have done, people who control media, mm -hmm. have done since media was, you know, was a, a business. And that is to extend their control into all parts of it, including programming. For IAC not to have them, if you will, in the, in the middle, uh, coming in, making profits, b being the middlemen of sorts, if you will, here, that would be a big boon to IAC's business. Actually, no? in or truth, is this just a passion Actually, in yours? truth, it isn't, it, it isn't that important for us. This is for the person who's, who's in a garage, the proverbial inventor, entrepreneur in a garage, mm -hmm. the person who comes up with an idea, the person who has, wants to be an entrepreneur and wants to express themselves. That's what this is. That's really where this protection. This is, this, this is not, I believe. I mean, it's in, it's in my general business interest mm -hmm. to have an open Internet. And, and since I'm not a distributor, then it's certainly not anything against my business. But it's predominantly, I've been saying this, by the way, for a very, very long time. And... And I think it's right public policy. I don't think this is a business issue. I think this is real public policy. We have something to treasure here. The American, the, the, we didn't, 20 years ago, you really didn't hear the word entrepreneur very much. Our uh, endless use of, of this in the last 20 years came from essentially technology and came from the internet. The ability of these people out of nothing mm -hmm. to create these incredible businesses. Jeff Bezos driving across the country to establish Amazon.com. You know? He didn't have to ask anybody. He just put it up on the internet and people started to use it. There was nobody between him and the and and the audience.